are my loves welcome today we are going to be doing my very first wig install i uh, got this from my first wig and it said it was a wig for beginners i need help i'm not great with the plucking uh and the styling i have purchased wigs before and i found the plucking to be a bit strenuous i always felt like i never did it quite right and my wigs would look bulky at the front so i was very excited uh to try this because it says it's for beginners and it's already pre-plucked so that was a plus for me uh i want to show you guys what i got okay let's pick it up the box i love this little box by the way too okay comes like this it is the 12 inch yaki it's a bob i'll leave the information in the comment section so if you guys wanted to order one like this or similar uh just click on that link and get hooked up <laughs> this is not an ad so i actually don't have any coupon codes for you guys sorry I just wanted to share my first wig experience with you. So it comes here. Oh. oh, look. And they also give you uh, two nude head caps, which is exciting. This is like a fishnet. Not really sure how to get it out. I'm just going to rip it. I'm not good at this. This really. Okay. 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 So this is the wig. And I actually want to try to sew this wig in. I saw uh, the model in the picture on the website and she was really pretty. So hopefully I can get mine like this. I know you guys can't see it, but it's very textured. I did not want it to be uh, too straight. I want it to kind of mimic my natural hair. And I chose this braid pattern going to the side. I felt like it's going to be less lumpy. And if you can see with this, it's a bob. And I want that part to kind of mimic right there. I want it to be a clear part. One thing with your braid patterns, whatever you do, just make sure you have no lumps on the front, the back, the side. A lot of times people will have lumps in the back and most times uh, it'll be a little bit thicker, like the hair will be thicker, but you don't want to look like a, a hump head, like <laughs> instead of a hump back, like a hump head. So. Anyway, I'm going to get this installed. I'm going to be doing it myself. And I will show you guys the results when I come back. Loves, welcome back. Uh, this is my end product. So I was able to get it installed. What I did, because I wasn't a fan of the glue, I sewed down the, just the edge not the whole thing so it's sold down my edges are sold down uh needle and hair thread and i i use this hair razor tool to thin out the edges and create a little baby hair i was so nervous to go too short uh yeah so they probably look a little long right now but of course i'll go back and fix it later I do want to say the part in between, it was very tough to try to get that to look natural. And I have on the nude cap, but you have to be careful where the cap ends because if it ends uh, right at the end of your hairline, it's going to create a bump. So it looks like your forehead goes up a little bit. <laughs> So I did uh, 
I cut a little bit of that nude cap. I cut off the edge part that was really thick and kept the rest of it. All in all, I feel like it came out okay for my first time doing this. I thought it came out amazing. It did have clips, so I didn't have to try to sew it. I could have just clipped it and did the little glue uh, to keep the edges down, but it, I wanted to see if I could or what it would feel like. Uh, yeah, moving forward. So I think all in all, this was a great experience. I love that they cut it for you because in the past I tried to buy a wig <laughs> and I tried to style it and it was a disaster so I'm very happy that this time they cut it and styled it so it looks a lot better when you put it on they also pre-plucked it so you didn't have to do a lot of work they did the hard work for you the only thing I wish is there was a way to kind of they did bleach the knots so it was tinted but you can still kind of see the grid that's my only thing about wigs I don't want anybody to know it's a wig I want you know I wish it looked like scalp that's the only thing I can say that would have made this a little bit better for me but all in all I'm happy uh, and of course nobody's gonna be like I see that grid you know <laughs> now if you're like kissing bae and he's like staring that might be weird but I don't even think I think I did a good job on these edges so you don't see where the wig cap ends and I sewed it down so it's down and I did have a little lace in the back as well so you can um I didn't cut it I cut it just a little bit I cut it just a little bit but there was lace in the back so if you wanted to glue down the back and pull it up you were able to do that on this particular wig it is short in the back so I won't be pulling it up uh, but I have uh, tried to pull this part up in a ponytail and was successful so myfirstwig.com I like the wig and it's yakky so it's not too silky. I love that. And I think it was a perfect fit. Shout out to you guys. Myfirstwig.com for making my wig experience a lot better than it would have been. <laughs> but thank you guys. If you like this video, please subscribe if you want to see more. Again, I am a beginner. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm not a licensed cosmetologist by any means. So this was not meant to be a tutorial to teach you anything. Just to share my wig experience with you guys. If you like it, hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see me try out more stuff. <laughs>